Good morning. Welcome to What's Up Monday. It's July 25th and we've got about 10 different things to talk about this week. So let's get started. We had a great conversation in the uh, Little Dragons class last week about kill the monsters when they're small. And what was happening is a couple of little dragons were being pretty disrespectful to their parents. And a lot of times parents will, will ignore or excuse the behavior and use the explanation that, well, they're only four, they're only five. Well, the problem with that is that small monsters grow into big monsters. And so any negative behavior that you overlook or allow is only going to grow and create a bigger problem. So at four or five, it might be cute. But by seven, you have an issue. And by 10, you have a serious problem. And so you don't want to let any of those negative behaviors take hold. And so we talked to the parents about it in class. And as always, if you have any questions or uh, wonder how to handle particular situations, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to give you some suggestions. You're never going to hurt my feelings if you don't take my suggestions. But I basically look at the program as a toolbox. And we've got hammers and screwdrivers and saws. You choose which tools you need. And the other ones you can just ignore, and that's perfectly fine, right? I want to give you the entire toolbox, and you just take what you want and or need to help you develop your child a little bit more. So make sure you're killing those monsters when they're small, especially when it comes to respect. All right, next, our weekly report card. So again, I want to thank everybody who takes the time to fill those out. The information is very valuable, getting a lot of great uh, feedback on what's working, and then also keeping an eye on some of the things that need improvement. Nothing is ever going to be perfect. For example, I know for a fact that giving one-on-one -on -one attention is one of the biggest challenges. It's just me, and we've got classes of 10, 15 in the kids' karate class. Uh, we've even had 25 kids in class. I may not be able to give everybody 100% personal attention every single time. I am aware of that, but I'm also working on it. And your feedback helps me uh, keep on track with things of that nature. Uh, so definitely want to make sure also, if you have questions, I'm here to answer your questions and help you guys. So if you either want to ask me in person send me an email, shoot me a text, or send me a Facebook message, I'm more than happy to do that. A lot of times when new students join, there is a whole ton of information and you may not understand everything that's going on or where to find things. So the latest example uh, we had is in our leadership training, I have one or two families that are not on Facebook, but all of the information is in a Facebook group. Okay. I'm not going to require you to be on Facebook. I need to find a solution. So we created a Google Drive and I gave them the link to that and they're able to get all the information from there. But if you don't tell me those things, I'm not able to fix the gaps or holes where things might be happening. So please don't think you're bothering me. You cannot bother me. I'm here to service you guys. All right, next, our new mats are in. And so as with anything brand new, there's always some confusion on getting uh, the new process started. So what we're looking for is, yes, we don't want you walking on the mats with your shoes. But with that in mind, we know that you are going to be coming inside the door and there are mats right at the door. So especially with the hotter weather and the air conditioning going, the order of events would be to open the door, step in with your shoes on, close the door, and then take your shoes off right there at the mat. If you step and stand on the mats right around the door, that's perfectly fine. What I'm trying to avoid is people walking to the chairs and walking across and dragging all of the dirt into the floor. We want to keep the mats clean, especially now that the kids are going barefoot. We don't want rocks or pebbles. Sometimes there's glass in the parking lot. So we want everybody to be safe. So the best thing, walk in, close the door, and then take your shoes off. The other reason for that is I found, right, paying attention to all the different things that go on, by leaving the door open in the winter with the heat and or the air conditioning in the summer, we lose three or four degrees of temperature within one to two minutes. That hallway is just a vacuum sucking out the heat and or the air conditioning. So that's why it's important to make sure we always keep the door closed and helping me do that helps me focus more on class time. So I appreciate your help. As always, if it doesn't make sense or how about this or that, right? We're, we've got winter already figured out. So all those things are gonna be happening once we get there. But right now, it's summertime. 
So uh, take the shoes off inside on the mats and putting them on inside the mats is perfectly fine. Some of the kids, for example, have been sitting right at the door. That is definitely not safe, right? So if somebody comes walking in, they're going to get hit with the door. So step on the mats, take your shoes off, come in, standing on the mats, put your shoes on, and then exit out. A couple more weeks, everybody will have it figured out. It'll be great. Uh, now, going backwards to go forwards. Uh, we've added back in registrations in the app. So if you would like to pre-register for class like we did pre, uh, about two or three months ago when we was hit with COVID and we had the individual stations, you can now register for class in the app. And by doing that, you don't have to register on the iPad when you come in. So that way that's going to save you a couple minutes, uh, especially with the leadership training and now a sparring class. You can register for all of those. It's not required to register ahead of time, but it just alleviates the long line uh, at the iPad and it also helps those particular parents that forget to check in. Yeah. So if you want to pre-register, you're welcome to do that in the app. If you don't pre-register, same process when you walk in the door, just register at the iPad and your child will be all checked in. Next, the Respect t-shirts arrived. So we started handing those out on Friday when they came in. So if you ordered a Respect t-shirt, I have it waiting for you the next time that you come to class. And now moving along, oh, we're in week four. We've got bell testing in just about six weeks, August 29th or 30th. Uh, so we are going to be working on getting those stripes. So you wanna make sure that you're getting those two classes in per week. And as we talked about last week, remember virtual classes and recorded classes also count for credit. Still lots of people going on vacation and that's fantastic. Love to see everybody having a great time. Get back to class, stay on track. So that way going back to school, you will have your brand new belt rank. The life skill this week or again for the whole cycle is respect as I mentioned before. So we're gonna continue on respect for your parents. And this seems to be a pretty big one in a lot of households. I'm getting a lot of questions about it. So we're gonna spend another week on how to show respect to your parents. Then in the leadership training, we're gonna be finishing off the pillars this week. So that way we're gonna be learning the pillars and then how to be practicing those pillars on a regular basis at home and then in another month when we go back to school. Little dragons this week are working on the skill of memory. This is a super important one as also they're getting ready for school. They're short-term memory, reactive memory, and long-term memory. So what I'm starting to notice a lot of times whenever we put the little dragons under a little bit of stress, all right, we ask them a question that they may or may not know. Real quickly, a lot of them go to the, I don't know, and they just give up and they don't want to think. We have to change that thinking because they're going to need to be able to process and solve problems in school and definitely as they get older in life. So we want to be getting rid of the I don't know answer and continue to dig deeper. So we'll be working on those memory skills all this week in class. And then finally in the kids karate class, we'll be working on black strike number two. That is for performance and uh, technique in class time. So I will be awarding those two students that are showing 100% effort, doing their best and showing great technique in class time. So there you go. A lot of things going on middle of summer. We're still cooking and moving forwards. Oh yeah, number 11, bonus round. Have you seen stage two of our three-stage plan? So I posted the pictures yesterday in Facebook. If you haven't seen them or if you're not on Facebook, you're in for a really cool surprise when you come into the school. So that's everything that's going on this week. I hope you guys have a super day and I will see you in class. Bye, everybody.